What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. This morning is one of those mornings that I've dreamt about my entire life. Y'all see me in these new frog togs? There's a reason and I'm about to step outside and show y'all. We're running a long ways and we're in search of some giants Woo! and I'm so glad y'all are following along. But him, enough's enough. Let me walk outside. But are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Let's go! Y'all, we're in Venice, Louisiana, the land of giants, and we're about to make it happen. We even got some Asian crew on here that are, Woo! we even got the Asians that say they know how to cook, but Woo! Blue Gabe's in the house. We're gonna see if they can cook as good as I can. We got the grills, we got ice, we got bait, we got big rods, and we're in search of big tuna, big grouper, big wahoo. Let me introduce you to the captain. Hey, Captain Bob Hovey here, Louisiana Blue Water Charters, baby. Has been trolling naked, y'all see that? But we got clothes on. AKA troll naked, y'all know that's right. We got some big fish around. Uh, we're gonna see if we can make it happen today. The weather's gonna cooperate. We got the crew, we got the boat. The weather's good, we just need them fish to cooperate, please. But look at the fog. So we got about a 20 mile run in the river and then we're gonna be actually headed out of the east side of the river today, going to this place called The Lump. Um, it's no secret, very notorious. We've been going to the same place for years and it happens happens a very small uh, percentage of the year, uh, February and March usually. Um, it's a little bit later this year. It's been really good and we're gonna go out there and see if we can tie one on. Tie one on and see if they can hurt Blue Gabe's back. I'm not a big fan of catching giant fish, but today I am. Oh, yeah. I might get in a minute, I'm gonna stand up for a minute. Vessel coming out of Venice Marina, passing the shrimp boats, headed towards Cypress Cove. Any concern traffic? All right, y'all, so we're way up the mouth of the Mississippi River right now. We're about to turn the corner. There's crazy huge ships, all kinds of boat traffic, and we have zero visibility. He's got radar, we've got the radio to communicate with other boats. That's all we can do. But we gotta get to where we're going, and we gotta get there fast. So, it's a little bit sketchy, but these guys are professionals. They do it day in and day out. Let's go. All right, y'all, so we just got out here. We're all fishing the same exact setup. We've got a bunch of 100-pound mono to just a bare hook. We're barely putting the hook in the bait and we're sending it down with chum. All I'm doing right now is feeding that bait and it's just slowly sinking and the tuna are down near the bottom, probably more or less like mid-water and we're hoping they hit this chum line and come up and eat our baits. So we're using the clicker right here. <laughs> Film Bailey's is leaving the country. Oh my god. He's leaving the country. Oh He's out of my here. god. He's going to Mexico. <laughs> I don't know. I think a great bite just ate your fish. Do not say that. <laughs> what you think? You got a real one on or what? Smoking. Still just peeling line. Tell Justin we got one stretched out in between the black Freeman and Justin. All right, guys, we've been grinding all day. Haven't had much to show for it, but uh, out here it goes from zero to hero real quick. We just put three lines in the water and doubled up, and we got some real ones on. The adrenaline is pumping, y'all. All right, y'all. I had a shark. Bailey. Keep the rod bent. I turned some clickers off. Bailey's got the real one. It's just a gamble. Five rods. She got the bite. It's because I'm lucky like that. 
Let me tell y'all, this is an arm workout. I'm done already. Don't slow down. You only got about 400 yards more to go. <laughs> and you got to keep one hand on the rod, yeah? Yeah. I'm feeling the burn right now. You got a knife? Somebody cut this line. I don't want I got to start it. getting anywhere near this tuna rod. Okay, cut the line right where it is. Right here? Yep, go ahead. When I get this fish in, y'all, I hate to tell you, but I'm taking like a two-hour break along with a nap. See, y'all notice all the boats in the background? We're out here in the middle of Gulf of Mexico, 60 miles offshore, and there's a hump. It goes from three, four, five hundred foot up to 200 foot, and it's not very big. So all these boats are in this one little area doing the same exact thing. A lot of us have fish on, so you got to really snake through all the boats and all the lines and pray you don't get cut off. You get a gain on him right here. Start reeling, reel, reel, reel. Start reeling. He's on the surface, Bailey. Oh, right there, right out. there. God, he's big. Woo! Look at that six. Where'd he go? Right here, right here. Under right your boat, under your boat. Turn this way. Turn hard. Turn this way, Bob. You no, know, he's. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Oh. All right. He's not ready. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my god, y'all. Oh, I got you. Oh, he's on it again. No, Holy crap. Right we got him. Oh. Underneath the boat. Oh, hey. Don't. Oh, he's straight under the boat. All right. Right under the ground. Under. She's a beast. Oh, Get him, girl, get him. I want him. <laughs> I want him bad. There goes all that hard work you did. Whew. I'm not giving up yet. One thing I can assure you, he is the biggest fish you've ever caught now that we've seen him. Most definitely. I don't doubt that. Here he is on the surface. He's close. We should get the gas. Real, Bailey. Is that this, this side? Oh, wait. Oh, my God. He's not ready. He's 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 Hey, Holy oh, crap, y'all! That was the best fight in my entire life. I've oh, never been so happy. Push, 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 push. One, two. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah! Oh my god, look how big he is! Dude, we gotta get a thumbs up. Holy crap, right. holy crap, holy crap! Oh, good job. Oh my god. Right. Bailey, stay right there in the corner. Right there in the corner. Take it quick. <laughs> All right, y'all. We just finished that battle. We had three different camera angles. She stayed on the rod 99.9% .9 of the time, and only one time when she had to take a drink. So, what do you think? I feel like a kid Christmas morning. I can literally not stop smiling from ear to ear. That was the craziest ride of my life. And there's more to come, y'all. There's just more to come. <laughs> I'm tired and I didn't even fight it. I'm tired from holding the camera. We're covered in blood. Over the rail and Dude, in the pail. He's not going to come out of it. Huh? It's going to be very difficult to get out of it. Y'all know what time it is? It's time to go catch another one. How are your arms feeling right now? Tired. I'm about to eat some lunch and then I'm going to lay on the beanbag and pass out. That's a fact.
Alright, y'all ready? So we're fishing for about another hour. We're gonna try to catch one more. I might even convince him to go try to put me on a big warsaw. We'll see. We might catch another giant tuna. Stay tuned. Alright guys, we are hooked up again. We're hoping that Gabe actually has something Don't good this good, time. Baby. So <laughs> Yeah, baby! Come on! Whenever you're ready. I'm ready. And so it begins. Again. Time you want this one way down, as low as you can get it. 3.30. Let's see if you can beat my record. I wasn't recuperated yet from the hammerhead. You guys, we got four boats right around us fighting tuna. This is going to get a little bit hectic. If y'all were wondering. I don't want to keep that clicker on though, it's annoying. This boat right here, this orange boat, has got one on. Jackie Shea, for those of y'all that watch her, she's got one on right over there in that boat. What'd you say, Bailey? Feel the burn! Feel the burn, baby, feel the burn. Stay tight on it. Feel the burn. You guys, I think Bailey and I can agree that Louisiana Blue Water Charters is the deal. These guys brought grills, cooked us all kinds of good food, nice equipment, nice tackle, nice guys, most importantly. They're their houseboat, oh my God, it's as nice as my house and it's on the water. You walk downstairs and get in the boat. They got ice machine right there. Everything about this situation is top notch. In case y'all are wondering, he's, he's, he's going back down. We should have just stopped at Bailey's and I wouldn't have had to went through this. Bro, there's nothing down there. Come up here. I ain't even, I can't gain on him. We believe in you. you do but it. do you believe in me? Yeah, of course. You can do it. Starting to wear on you. It's a big thing. All right, y'all, it's been about an hour now. He's close. I mean, he's probably 60 feet from us. It's been 20. Leg. All right, folks. Gabe is on a monster right now. We don't we don't catch a lot of these huge, huge fish, but uh, fortunately today we're on our second one. It's just been an incredible bite down here in Venice recently uh, during during March. These fish will flat wear you out. One these more thing we got to mention too. We got to shout out to all the people affected by the vi the virus. People that are out of work. You guys, the only reason I got to get out here, he's normally booked. I called him, he had a cancellation. I feel horrible for everybody that's out of work. Pray for all of y'all. Hope all of y'all are safe and well. Absolutely. You guys, I can tell you one thing about Miss Bailey. I know I'm stronger than she is, and my arm is killing me right now. <laughs> y'all heard that. That's right. I'm just that's saying right. y'all heard that. I will tell you guys one thing that sets her aside from the rest. I don't have footage of her putting the bait out because we were just getting started. She put her own bait out, she worked her own rod, she hooked her own fish, and she caught that thing by herself. Not one of us did anything for her. He's, ready. He's, He's under right the here. boat! He's under the boat! He's under the boat! Nick, I went free spool. No, 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 no! I you had never to. go to free spool. He was in the freaking motor. Don't ever go to free spool. He was in, in that motor. Give him a pound, a pound or two of drag. All right, you filming? Yeah, I'm filming. I didn't go to like free spool, free spool. I turned spool. around and laughed at the both of you. I hope that makes it in there. As you guys can tell, the pressure is on. We want to get this tuna in the boat, so we're doing everything we can to make sure it happens. That's right, absolutely. Ten tensions are high. <laughs> tensions are high. Right now, there's nothing but 80 pound flora between me and him. 
Did work, Bailey. We, Bailey's is way bigger, but I think mine. That's partner. right. <laughs> hey, Louisiana Blue Water Charters, baby, Woo. right here, Captain Bob Hovey. <sighs> Woo! Fat <Back> girl. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's a wrap. I just ended this video with Jackie Shea and her boyfriend catching a giant right on the side of the boat. We drove right up to him, and my battery was dead. Womp womp womp. We got two giant tuna. Bailey caught her biggest, her only. I caught my personal best. Look at her, y'all. She's ate hamburgers and hot dogs all day since she caught her fish. And took naps, and I took And took alive. naps. We got a long ride in. We're gonna get in bean bags. I left my house yesterday morning at 8.30 in the morning, drove to her house, which is five hours from mine, picked her up, and drove another eight hours here. Got here late at night, I'm tired. I need to take a nap. I'm going to sleep on the way in. We're going to clean these big fish and eat them, and it's going to be oh so good. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Here goes nothing. Let's see what my, my little dink laying next to her giant weighs. 123. That's about 80 pounds of sushi, if y'all were wondering. <laughs> Here it goes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, 197. Oh, 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 are you kidding me? Almost 200 pounds. Y'all see it. That is unbelievable. Oh, oh my God. Hey, hey her first tuna ever was 197 pounds, and she did it all by herself. Y'all, look at this chunk of meat, and this is the smaller one of the two. Got our Danko knives. Come on a tuna just like this, come right down the middle of the lateral line. All the way down his back. Get it cut all the way to the backbone. Now I'm gonna do something completely different in this video, one that I haven't done before. We're gonna take this top loin out and we're gonna eat it for dinner. But the whole rest of this tuna and the big one is gonna be another video. I'm gonna show you what's in its stomach, what they're eating. We're gonna cook the heads, we're gonna cook the ribs, and we're gonna cook a whole bunch of this sushi at home at my house in Stewart, Florida. But it's gonna be a different video. So y'all stay tuned for that one. Come right by, his, right up here by his head. Now I'm not gonna go all the way up because I'm gonna save that meat for another video, like I said, and it'll be up shortly. Now, one thing about Danko is they got a knife for every occasion. This part of a tuna's back is crazy hard. It cut right through it. God, those bones are tough. What do you think about that, Bailey? Does that look good or what? Looks like dinner. All right, y'all, so we cleaned mine. Captain Bob's cleaning the big one right now. The boat's clean, we're tired, we're going to bed. I'm gonna cook at home. I was gonna cook here, I'm too tired. I gotta drive home tomorrow. I drove here yesterday, 14 hours yesterday. Got here, heck, I got here this morning at 12.30. Fished all day, now we're about to drive home. So I'll see y'all at my house in Stewart, Florida. Don't go anywhere, because I got some special treats coming for you. And just like that, we're back home, y'all. Dropped Bailey off, drove to my house, zero sleep, so tired I couldn't keep my eyes open, but I did it for you guys. I got home yesterday evening, edited all night long. I've got the video done up to the cooking part. Y'all check out that giant piece of tuna as big as my hand. We're gonna make a fresh salad. We got some wontons in it, some ginger, some garlic, just something simple, something fresh, because when we're done with this video, we're going to Deer Meat's house and I'm taking that giant tuna head we're gonna cook that thing and that's gonna be so much fun. Unfortunately, I only have a little bit of the Creole left. So I'm gonna use the rest of it. Yeah, go ahead and text me right when I'm filming. That's all I can do. 
Got a little bit of the all-purpose can cooker. Just about like that. Some Lowry's garlic salt. Flip it over and repeat. So I'm trying to do all this by myself. As you can tell, I don't have anybody to film, but that's okay. I edited it all night long. My mom's got the kids. I'm so excited to go see them. So let's get this party started. Ooh. Now I'm only gonna cook it for like 30 seconds on each side. I do not like my tuna cooked very much. All right, y'all, but back to video number two. We got a huge amberjack. We got big black fin tuna and we got so much more bo bonus footage to come. Y'all, when you see me post that video number two, click on it, because I'm telling you it's gonna be good. But look at that. Can y'all smell it? Oh, this is gonna be messy, but oh well. Yeah, I just got splattered with hot grease. Oh. See, I'll leave a comment below and tell me what's your favorite way to eat fresh tuna. Raw, sashimi, with some rice, and a sushi roll. However you do it, leave a comment below. And to me, that's a wrap. That's about how much I want it cooked. Look how good that looks. So, about that drive home, Bailey and I pushed it as hard as we could. We left here, we went straight there, caught our fish, and came straight home. Big shout out, Captain Bob, and everybody that was part of the video and making it happen. Love you guys. Love all y'all that are watching these videos, too. This is how this is going to go down. Look at that. That salad's got all kinds of good stuff in it. You guys see that salad dressing? That's my favorite. Mmm. I haven't ate a good meal in like three days, if y'all want to know the truth. I am starving. <sighs> y'all, that's probably the hardest piece of fish I've ever earned in my life. 30 hours of driving, no sleep, lots of stress, worrying about everything that's going on right now in our world. But it's all worth it. If you have a goal, set it and go get it. Don't cry, don't complain. That's why I pushed Bailey so hard to stay on that rod. I got emotional watching them gaff that fish because we all knew how hard she worked. Yeah, I worked hard on mine too, but I'm 200 pounds and got a lot of fishing experience on Bailey. When, she get, when we gaffed her fish, so even when I was editing, when they sunk the gaff and her fish and she turned to that camera, I'm telling y'all, that was hard to watch for me emotionally because we both put so much time into it. Thank all of y'all for everything you do, the positive comments and all the just keep going, keep going, Gabe, keep doing good, you're great, we love your videos. I love all y'all's tags on Instagram, I love everything about this journey I'm on. But I'm really in love with this meal and I need to get started. Let's say the blessing. Dear Lord, thank you for this day, thank you for this food, thank you for everything that you've given us. Lord, please watch over and protect our whole entire world right now while we're going through these tough times with everybody getting sick. We know you made the most ultimate sacrifice by sending your only son to die on the cross to forgive us of our sins. And that we thank you for. Dear Lord, amen. Y'all, it's time to eat. Y'all, unexplainably good, but this video is already long enough, so we got to get out of here. We're done. I'm headed to Deer Meat's house to cook that big tuna head to go see my boys and give both Luke and Jake the biggest hug and kiss ever and just wrap them in my arms. Thanks for watching, but like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here. And it's time to get the heck out of shape. See y'all.